Welcome back to Bespoke Addict. Um, I've got the uh, 1786 Russian Reindeer again, and um, as I mentioned in previous uh, in a previous video a couple of times, the stitch just here, I believe it's called an anchor stitch, but I could be wrong. Um, it's it's completely broken, and this, that just stops this area becoming pulled too wide and splitting there. So um, some somebody had had a go at it previously. Um, it is a fiddle, and um, it wasn't wasn't tight enough and it was also a polyester thread this is linen thread I'm using of course you need two needles I've already put the first stitch in um, I, I mean, polyester will act like cheese wire the polyester will be stronger than the leather and it could cut through the leather which is the last thing we want um, linen is strong when it's new it does rot with time but when it's when it's new it's um, it's quite strong and um, it's not as strong as the leather so it won't act like a cheese wire I've already put one stitch in and when you've got two two threads you can pull it quite tight so these are leather needles which have got a little flat edge to them and I've pushed the tongue under I'm able to do that because the tongue's loose these stitches along here which stitch one edge of the tongue they, they, they'd fail too so I've got the tongue tucked under I'll pull it out and then I'll re-stitch through these little holes to fix that back right let's so work that through and I, I've got a pair of you know crappy little pliers they're not uh, I think they came from a pound shop actually that they're adequate for um, such a job this is the one just pop the long nose pliers in and I'm not gonna be able to get much of this on camera because uh, I can barely see myself let alone get the camera in there of course, this stitch would have been done initially without the soles on the shoe um, before you know when the whole the whole upper was laid out flat so redoing it with the sole in situ is a bit of a fiddle right there we go if I can get the second one there we go let's give this a bit of a pull got two two threads well, it's one thread, two ends. I just push that down and give it a bit of a. There we go. So I'll probably go over there about seven or eight times to get it nice and tight. And then I will hold, I'll pass the needle under and over in both directions and create like a little knot in the middle, pinching both sides together. Um, I'm just looking for another pair of shoes now. I can't see another knot that I can show you, but uh, right. Now's the fiddly bit, trying to do the return stitch from the inside. Really quite a fiddle. I definitely need the pliers. Actually, no, I won't use the pliers initially. I'll use my fingers just to, to find the hole. I can't be bending the skins back. I don't want to be stretching or risking cracking the skins. But it's a huge fiddle. Might take half an hour to do this single stitch. Mm. Because if you don't get the stitch perfectly lined up, it comes out in the wrong place. I'm going to have to use the have to use the pliers. I can't get my hand in. But, uh, as I say to you, you're not really going to be able to see much of what I'm doing because I can barely see myself I'm sort of squinting down inside this shoe there it is here's one that's definitely coming out in the right place once I've got them both I can pull it tight sort of squeeze the squeeze the leather together pull the pull the threads tight and then go back in the other way just just a fiddle but you have to come out of the hole that's already there you can't be poking new holes Oof. come on here we go that's it here we go there's one two no no great mystery to any of these things it's uh, 
just more of a fiddle than anything. There we go. Just uh, each turn of the stitch, give it a bit of a pull. Then once I've been over and over both ways, then I will I'll work the needle sort of through because there's two sides of the thread and I'll pinch them together. Then once I've repolished this, that's the other beauty of linen. It takes on the colour of the, either the polish or the cream um, polyester. And I've lost one of my needles. It's come off here. I don't, I don't know where that is. Never mind. Never mind. I'll turn the camera off and I'll find that. It's probably stuck in my trousers. I don't know. I don't know where it is. I can't feel it. I'll certainly feel it if it sticks in me. But yeah, as, as I was saying, um, the, using the, the, the linen, I'll, you know, I'll recolour it with a bit of cream and the linen takes on the, uh, the colour of the cream or the polish. So that, it looks a bit garish as a stitch, but the colour will change. But that, you don't have that luxury with polyester. You know, polyester doesn't really, um, it doesn't take on the colours of polish. Anyway, I'll, I'll stop there because I've lost one of my needles. I did want to do a couple more and just sort of do this I don't know what this thing's called um, I think it's an anchor stitch but it, it's supposed to have it's supposed to be sort of tied in the middle like a little bow in the middle as well um, just pinches the whole thing tight but I've lost one of my needles and uh, ah, I've got it here actually it was before it stabbed me but I'm going to do yeah it's getting, it's getting too long this video I didn't want to make a long video but I just wanted to give you a sense really and uh, of course I'll, I'm going to peel the peel the tongue back and work through these original holes here there's a row of about eight stitches there and uh, just so that one side of the tongue is held secure and it doesn't slip but it's, it's linen thread and linen does in time it rots but at least it doesn't perforate the skin whereas polyester polyester threads can sort of tear the skin like a cheese wire would but I'm sure I've shown enough here